Hey guys, this is Mindy back with another cup of love, cup of wisdom. Let's get in here and do an energy check. Remember, this could be past, present, or future energy. Remember to take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Flip the signs and rules as needed. Keep in mind, this is a collective read, not a personal read. If you'd like a personal read, the details in my description box for my channel. You can email me at aceofcupzero at yahoo.com. All right, so I went ahead and I had some cards that came out. I tried to keep them in the same order and the same way that they fell out. So the first card I have is young, once, immature, always. Somebody was acting childish or immature. Patience is a virtue, but I don't want to wait and run. So someone could become running towards you, running back after doing something immature, acting childish towards you. <clears throat> and then I had some that came out sideways, which is like now near future energy. But then I had two after that that came out. So I'm just going to go ahead and do those before I do the sideways ones just to keep them more organized here but somebody did something really quickly and it went left really fast okay so that's what happened someone was acting childish somebody made a quick move and things ended up going left and so now this person could be running back they don't want to wait um but okay there may be some issues here because something is put to a stop so something could be currently on hold or stopped because someone is pushing your buttons intentionally Nobody was supposed to find out. So somebody is pushing your buttons intentionally, maybe to gauge your reaction, to see how you're going to react, to see if you're going to tell anyone. It's like someone's just playing cat and mouse with you. They're playing games with you. Why did the can crusher quit his job? He was so depressed. So someone's depressed now. So maybe you are who you say you are. You know, you don't deal with drama. You just walk away from situations. You don't, like, try to blow anything up. You don't try to get retaliation. You don't act out of vengeance and spite. Um, you just move on with your life. I wasn't mad before, but I am now. Many. Those two came out. So, you know, at first maybe something didn't bother you, but someone kept doing something repeatedly, and you're like, you know what, like, enough with the bullshit. I'm done. I'm over this. Uh, moving on. So somebody could have been mimicking you, copying you, parroting you. So someone could have been, like, trying to match your energy or parroting you. I have two birds back to back. But someone is, like, a someone's a bird making a snap. There could be talk and chatter about someone trying to copy or imitate you <clears throat> or someone trying to match your energy or maybe believing the same things you do. Someone's playing checkers, not chess. So somebody may have let their hand slip. If no one was supposed to find out something regarding a home situation, um, hanging up your coat. So something significant could be surrounding a home situation. Um, someone could be bald, doesn't have to be. Um, that reminds me of the card, a bald spot, it's hard to cover up. So someone could be trying to cover up a situation at home or regarding a home. <clears throat> but but here, here's the thing. If somebody was supposed to like try to keep everyone from finding something out, but they were trying to match your energy, say you're a divine femme, okay, and say this is a masculine. Then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, this masculine, um, they may be interested in the same things you are. They talk about the same things you do. And maybe they didn't used to do that around certain people or specific people. And people are catching on. They're like, wait a minute. That sounds like somebody I know. Like, wait a minute. You don't believe that stuff. When did you start believing in this? When did you start, like, thinking like that? When did you get interested in this? There could be people talking about this because someone's playing che checkers, not chess, Okay. Someone, someone saying king me, you know, it's like they're trying to imitate you. Um, but somebody could be at a checkmate. Someone, someone could be getting put in check. Okay. Is what I'm hearing. So something may have gotten exposed. This person may have pissed off more than one person and then, you know, they may have gotten under your skin and irritated you, but there may be other people that are like, wait a minute, something's not adding up. And you have to take into account, if people were not supposed to find out, why is that? Is this, per is this person connected to somebody? Like, what would be a problem if, you know, other people found out about this? Someone's kicking themselves for acting childish and immature, but, it, you know, the damage was already done. So it's like, not only did they piss you off and annoy you, other people are starting to question something. Like, eyebrows are being raised. So if this was supposed to be a secret, maybe it's not so much of a secret anymore, whatever it is. And they could be thinking that you got mad and you did something and you said something, but you didn't say shit. It's just because they're acting childish and, you know, they're the ones that's playing games, trying to climb a ladder, trying to possibly get your attention, get other people's attention. 
Um, you know, you could be taking care of yourself, cleaning up, cleaning up the house, and someone could be trying to juggle you, or you're just juggling a lot of responsibilities, and someone could be kicking themselves for ruining something that could have been really awesome, you know, with someone who takes care of themselves, takes care of the home, it has the ability to multitask and to juggle, um, you know, and you could be multidimensional, like a multidimensional character is what I heard, like there's many layers to you. Like, there's not just one aspect to you. It's like the more someone gets to know you, the deeper, you know, it's like the more they see about you and you're, on the outside, you appear very simple, but underneath, it's like you're very complex. And it doesn't mean that you're like a hard or difficult person. It just means there's so much to you. Like, there's actually more depth to you than people realize. You just may be really good at keeping this hidden, maybe because you're more of an introvert. Somebody could be wanting to fight you. Oh, okay. So the icing on the cake is if someone does find out about this, um, you know, somebody could want to fight. Someone could be getting ghosted. Someone may want to fight because you ghosted them. Okay. So if they were acting childish, it's like, no, somebody wants you to fight with them. It's like, they want to get a reaction out of you. They want attention and you're just polishing your shoes. You're at a crossroads or someone's at a crossroads here. And you know, you're just tired of hearing it. Like it just gives you an earache. You know, that's the third word on there. It's like, eh, you know, I'm just not, you know, I'm just minding my business, taking care of my shit. You know, I had a decision to make. I made it. I'm deciding to not deal with this. You know, I don't deal with people who act like children. You know, you may have children, so it's like you don't need to raise another adult. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I, it's that kind of energy. So it's like monkey see, monkey do. This person was trying to imitate you. <laughs> This person can this person wanted to come like rushing towards you, okay? It's like they wanted to, but they could be trapped in a marriage, okay? So bird cage and tying the knot. So it's like someone's kicking themselves for acting childish, possibly with a married person, with their spouse. You could be the spouse. Um, or you could be the person that they wanted to come rushing towards and was trying to copy and imitate. However, um, they're tied, and that's a barrier here because they could live with someone fireplace putting up wallpaper. So a barrier here could be um surrounding a home situation. Somebody maybe needing a home or homeless, but um, there's a barrier here nonetheless. No matter what the barrier is, there's a barrier, and it has to do with possibly possibly that someone lives in the same house as um, someone they're married to, whether it's you um, or they're, you know, committed elsewhere. Whether they're married or just live with somebody, someone's in a commitment. Maybe they're engaged. Maybe you're engaged to this person, however you want to look at it. So someone is being childish. Uh, cancer could be significant crab. Someone is like looking to hurt someone, sink something. Someone has scars. So it's like something was painful or someone didn't realize that something was painful, like with them acting childish. It's like you have enough scars. You've already healed. Um, you're not going to let history keep repeating itself. That That would mean that you didn't learn your lesson. And when you learn your lesson, you move on. That way you can keep ascending because that's how spirituality works. That's how, you know, you level up, go through your ascensions, your transformations. And it's like somebody, somebody did something that could have like, you know, hurt a little bit. And it's just like, you know, no. And they kept doing it. So it's not like it was just a one time thing, a one and done. This person was doing something multiple times over and over, pushing your buttons, trying to see how you would react. And it's like, you know what? No, no. They could have been playing like mind games with you or mind manipulation. You could have lived with this person. Like this could have been an ex or somebody that you were in a situation with or, you know, relationship with. And they could have been trying to copy you, imitate you. <clears throat> and they could have like traveled towards somebody else. Or maybe they said that they were divorced when they were still married or, you know, something significant like that could be going on. You have a new start, new beginning. Someone does here. So there's an Ace of Pentacles. Someone has a new start, new beginning, new job, new home, new location. You know, possibly a, a sum of money here. Someone wants to be compassionate towards you. Or you could be like a parental figure, a mother figure. So um, somebody could want to be compassionate towards you and offer you some sort of new start, new beginning. It's like maybe you've had trouble having a new start, new beginning because of the past. <clears throat> because of some of the things, the heavy burdens you know, that you've experienced, like, 
Um, say you've been to prison, okay, or something like that, or say you had like a charge on you, okay? I'll just use this as an example. And every time you go somewhere for like a job or something like that, the, you know, on the application, it's like, okay, have you had a felony? Have you had any misdemeanors? If so, how long ago? What was it? Um, and every time, as soon as you mark yes, <clears throat> I'm a felon. They automatically disqualify you. And they're like, no, no, we don't deal with that kind of shit here. Like, we don't, we don't deal with felons here. But <clears throat> there's someone here who wants to offer you an Ace of Pentacles. They want to give you a chance. They want to be compassionate and take a chance on you. So say you end up marking yes, you're honest, and you're like, yes, I fucked up. Like, I know the drill. I'm walking out the door. And they're like, whoa, 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 hold up, hold up. But you have all these skills, and we need all these skills. You're really good doing this, that, and the other. And to be honest, you're almost overqualified for the job, if not overqualified. It's like, no, 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 wait, 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 hold up. Wait. Someone wants to take a chance on you. Whether you're a man or a woman, somebody wants to take a risk and give you a new start, a chance for a new beginning. And they want to be compassionate towards you. It's like maybe you've just heard no so many times that when you hear this yes, it's going to shock the shit out of you. You're not expecting it. Maybe you're not expecting somebody to be compassionate to you, but it's going to happen. Maybe out of the blue, unexpectedly. Because there's a transformation coming. It's time. Like, that old shit's dead. The old you is dead. Whatever mistakes you made in the past, like, that's not you. You've gone through a transformation, and someone has seen a transformation that you've gone through, and they like what they see. It's like, if you've turned your life around, if you did this, that, and the other... Um, you know, say, say your felony charge was drug related or something like that. And they give you a drug test, you pass, you know, this, that, and the other. And it's like, you've gone through a transformation. They've seen you go through a transformation. They've seen you put in the hard work. They know you're dedicated to this, that, and the other. <clears throat> Somebody is willing to take this risk on you or with you. And there's a transformation coming. Something big is coming. You may feel like you're not worthy of this opportunity, whatever it is. It could be a home, a job, you know, a home, um, like a rental situation or like a, a real estate situation. It could be somebody, like I said, taking a chance on you with like a job or even a relationship. Like maybe someone's going to be like, well, you're not usually my type. Like I usually don't like maybe it's someone who's like, I usually don't date cops. I usually don't date like I just uh, no, I'm good. All of a sudden, this person's like, you know what? There's something about you I kind of dig, you know? Like, <laughs> I don't know. This could go so many different ways. There's so many opportunities for something good to happen. But there's something here involving movement or traveling. Someone could be traveling towards you to offer you this new start, new beginning. Or this new start, new beginning may require you to move or travel, um, you know, and it may be at a distance. So you may have to go a little bit of a distance to get this new opportunity. Or someone may have to travel a distance towards you to present this offer to you. Alright, not getting anything else. Let's move on. <clears throat> so, you're an empress. Here we go. We have an empress here. A divine femme. Let's see what's going on with the divine femme. So you healed from a heartbreak from a king of wands. Someone who was in their player energy. That came out in one of my recent readings I just recorded. Um, yeah, so you had to heal from some, you know, stuff at one point or another. You had to deal with the king of wands who was acting immature and childish, someone who was in their player energy. They were at a crossroads. They made a bad decision. They didn't want to work with you. They were not compassionate towards you. You know, they were getting under your skin. It's like they kept poking the bear. You know, they were not protective over you. In fact, they did more to, you know, keep jabbing, you know, poking you, like poking at your scar, maybe you started to bleed a little bit, and maybe you're just like, eh, you know what, like, no. <clears throat> this king of wands could have been a practitioner, okay, so they could have been, you know, into um, the arts of some sort, the arts in some sort of way. 
Yeah, someone wants to give you the offer that you've been waiting for, though, because they know you've healed from a situation. So they may be wanting to offer you a new relationship or a job. Maybe you were hurt at a job because someone abused their power. So the King of Wands could have been like a boss or supervisor. There's a group of people here that want to come together and make you an offer because they've seen what the hard work you've put in. You've been working your ass off for something. Someone's not happy about this, though. So there's a thief who's not happy. So someone who was trying to steal something or was spying. Uh, you know, someone's not happy about this, though. Someone's not happy about you getting this new opportunity. And it could be that King of Wands. Yeah, Queen of Wands. So it could have been a married couple. Could have been a feminine. Um, so it could have been a masculine who's wife. So, um... You know, it's happened before where, like, if the King of Wands is, like, your ex or something like that, um, whoever they're with now, so Divine Femme, this could have been, like, your baby daddy, new um, wife, whoever that is. Um, they could have been spying on you and they're not happy about something. They could have been trying to compete with you. That could have been who was trying to pair you. Maybe it wasn't your ex. Maybe it was the person they ended up choosing to be with or marrying after y'all split up and this person can't compete with you and this person was talking a lot of shit about you spreading a lot of rumors and gossip um so that they could steal something and they acted like they knew what was going on in your life or situation and you probably haven't even spoken to this person they're probably just going off what your baby daddy told them but there's a lot of talk there was a lot of rumors going around uh, possibly about a thief, possibly about what this married couple tried to steal from you or take from you. There's a message of truth here. Yeah, so someone created a very emotional situation with some sort of rumors or bullshit they were trying to do that they were spreading. <clears throat> like they just, they could have been working, doing something way too many times. <clears throat> This could have been your baby daddy who was going back and forth between you and their new person too many fucking times. It's like every time it's like, you know, it's like, you know, I just go, just go be with them. Just leave me the fuck alone. You know, what was done in darkness is being brought to light with the moon card Scorpio ending here. So there's an end to this emotional situation because someone was not held in high honor. This, this crazy bitch did something that was dishonorable to cause problems for you, to cause problems for your life. You know, they don't want you to have this new start or new beginning. Maybe because they're afraid your ex will come back to you. I don't know, man. I don't know. But there's someone who is definitely acting immature. Yeah, someone is obsessed. So someone could also be obsessed with coming into partnership with you or working with you. So you could receive a message from someone who's like... <clears throat> obsessed with working with you like i'm just getting like obsessed with partnering up with you or working with you hmm that's interesting <clears throat> so this female could be you know causing problems because maybe this masculine is your divine counterpart and they're obsessed with you. Maybe they won't quit talking about you and it's reveal. It's like they're exposing themselves. Or maybe this female exposed her secrets, exposed herself to this masculine about how obsessed they were with you and trying to copy and imitate you. Someone admires you. Someone admires you, Star. You have divine protection. Someone was not an official person, and someone was concerned about the breakup of a family or splitting up a family or affecting someone's family security, and that shit's over. So if this is an unofficial person who is trying to affect your, the divine femmes, uh, you know, family stability and finances and all that crazy shit, you know, you're, you're persevering through it with the Ten of Wands. 
it's like someone keeps trying to put their burdens on you or more bullshit on you and you just keep going through it. Someone didn't realize how protected you were. Maybe they thought you were a fake or a fraud. You know, it's like someone's talking a lot of shit, spreading a lot of gossip. It's like, you know, with the parrot and then the bird that came out right after that. It's like, there's a lot of talk going on. You healed. That's what you do. You're a healer. You heal yourself. You just keep going. You just heal and you keep moving on. Like, you just don't stop. You're like the Energizer Bunny. You just keep going and going and going. And someone could be finding out that someone's obsessed with you, whether it's, you know, the baby mama, baby daddy, or whoever they're connected with. There's a tower moment coming because you healed something. Yeah, Empress, Divine Femme. Oh, ooh. <clears throat> There's a tower moment coming because someone caused an injustice for you, and they were not innocent. They were guilty. Someone tried to make you look guilty of something, and look at this. We have the Emperor and Empress here. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay. There's definitely a, a divine connection here. Maybe y'all are supposed to get back together. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. There's an emperor and empress here. Yeah, someone tried to make you a guilty of something to stop your money, maybe because they wanted it. So, you know, if this emperor was giving you money or sending you money or something, um, this person wanted that money to stay in their house. They wanted to spend that money. They didn't want you to get some sort of money. King of Cups. In the reverse, didn't get some sort of money or was trying to stop some money. So someone made a decision that was emotional, you know, and they were not, they were not innocent in this. They caused an injustice for you, but it's a, your divine counterpart. What the fuck? Maybe you suffered during a divorce from this person or from a separation and maybe they didn't want to pay you any money or, you know, child support or alimony, palimony, something. Um, but somebody did something based on emotions maybe because they didn't want to lose money so they could have maybe chose to stick it out with someone who was causing them problems maybe they knew this person was trying to get at you or making these allegations or talking shit about you and maybe they, maybe they didn't step in and do anything about it yeah someone tried to put you in a third party situation but you're a high priestess here yeah them trying to keep you trapped, Ten of Swords, you being left out in the cold, that shit's over. So someone left you out in the cold thinking it was going to bind you and keep you trapped, and that shit's done and over with. These are all in the reverse. This is old energy. This is done. This is shit. This is not going to happen anymore. So that third party shit's over. Someone tried to stop your money by putting you in a third party situation. So they thought if they sent a third party towards you to like wine you, dine you, offer like this new beginning and then possibly leave you out in the cold, like maybe leave you expecting a new start with someone and then like rip it out from under you and leave you out in the cold, that it would like traumatize you or hurt you even more. But it's like you've already been through the worst of the worst. So like it doesn't bother you. It doesn't phase you. So, so your divine counterpart who uh, fucked up and ended up with the wrong broad um, helped someone hurt you. Oh my god. Wow. That's jacked up. That is jacked up. That doesn't mean you have to be with this person. If they're shady as fuck, by all means, do not be with this person. I'm just saying what the car... I'm just saying what... Read, they want to come towards you with an... If someone wants to come towards you with an offer, I don't... Mm -hmm. Yeah, the challenge is, is this masculine was a tyrant, and there's an emotional situation, so this person was an asshole. That's the challenge here, is they were an asshole, and, and they... But they want to come... Mm -hmm. I just heard the little rascals. Now, alf, alf. <laughs> I don't know the little rascals could be significant. You know, Darla and alf, alf, and that one dude. Oh, God, I can't think of his name off the top of my head. I don't want to spend too much time thinking about it. But someone wants to come towards the Queen of Wands here, a natural born leader. You know, someone who's caring, compassionate. And they want to come towards you. 
there was some sort of communication by the king of cups here and they did not have a victory so something didn't go in their favor but you're the empress here and the, the wheel of fortune is on your side especially with these heavy burdens and you're gonna have justice like something's being balanced out i can't make this shit up if i tried they tried, they played, they lost, they failed, they they did not have a victory. So if they tried to play with you, you know, and something ended up not going their way, if they were being underhanded with some shady shit with whoever they partnered up with, it didn't work out the way they thought it was going to, and now they want to come towards you because you're the <laughs> you're the mother loving high priestess. And you have a positive outcome. And this is bringing a tower moment. Someone is really emotional about this. They did not expect this. It's like this person cannot be divine. They cannot be a high priestess. They cannot have gone through these ascensions. They did not heal. There's no way this person healed from all this stuff. There was communication about somebody walking away. And it was a lie. There was a karmic here that was sent towards you. A lover is here that sent you a message that was based on a lie. And you walked away because you knew they were lying. Or they lied to you about walking away from you. And there was some sort of communication regarding someone walking away from someone but it was meant to hurt you so someone intentionally put you in a third party situation just so they could hurt you it was like this false start or this false new beginning that you you know you've been waiting for and now we have someone rushing in with some sort of truth and something being exposed someone coming out of her hermit mode <clears throat> bringing something to light regarding a treasure and th there's going to be some sort of communication about this and this involves, you know, that emperor, that tyrant, that asshole, man. Husband, lover, father figure, whoever this was to you. <sighs> but you're in your queen of swords energy now. <clears throat> so, you know, um, your compassion only went so far. Your love only went so far. If you're an empress here, you can embody any of the feminines in the deck here. And you're, you're in your queen of swords energy now. Your, your guard's up. Your shield's up. Your sword's up. You're like, um, you know, off with their head kind of energy. Like, tread lightly now. Because um, you're not going to come to me with any bullshit kind of energy. You're speaking the truth. You're speaking logically. <clears throat> And you have this king of mm. And you have this king of wands who's at a crossroads trying to decide whether he wants to be the king of swords or not. Do I want to elevate? Do I want to be on that level? Do I want to ascend? It's like I just heard motherfucker, did I ask you? Like when did you even think it was an option? So now this king of wands is at a crossroads and it has a decision to make. Possibly on whether or not they want to be this king of swords. Do they want to come to you and speak the truth? Do they want to meet you on your level? Because they can't, like... <sighs> because you went from the queen of wands to the queen of swords. So now they have to meet you where you're at. Okay? You're not all like, oh, it's okay. You're more like, um, what you got to say for yourself? Okay? What do you have to say? And if this person doesn't come to you the right way, they're... They may not get it, very many words out their mouth before you send their ass away. If if they even make it that far, someone has to come to where you're at because you don't. You're not lowering your vibration. You're not going there. You no. <sighs> you're not doing it. You'll go back to your Queen of Wands energy when you feel like it. And you don't fucking feel like it right now. Oh, that's just the energy. It's like, no, no, no. <clears throat> We're way past niceness, you know. We're way past the formalities of shit. Let's get down to business. What do you have to say for yourself? You have like five minutes. <laughs> you got five minutes. Speak your, you know, state your case, speak your piece and get the hell out. <clears throat> An ex-spouse is involved. You know, someone's not suffering, and that has someone frazzled. So the fact that, you know, your ex-spouse is involved, and you may know this, and you're not suffering, it has them losing their shit. It's like, how are they not bothered? How are they not losing their shit? After everything I've done to them, why aren't they trying to attack me? Why aren't they being hateful? Why aren't they saying something? Because you fucking healed. You're not the same person you were when you were with them. You are not where they left you. You're, you're beyond that. You're beyond if they have any shot in hell of coming towards you again, they're going to have to do some work. 
But someone has no shame. They're unapologetic. Someone involved in this situation is not sorry. Now, your ex, they may be. They, they may be frazzled. Maybe because you're unapologetic. Like, if you're in your Queen of Swords energy and you're not sorry about it, you know, your words can come across as ice cold and kind of heartless, right? And, and you're not sorry. You don't give a shit. This has someone frazzled. Why aren't they sorry? Why aren't they apologizing? Like, why aren't they, you know, um, cowering in a corner? Like, why, you know, like... Someone needed to be honest with themselves. Someone someone really didn't know what the fuck they were doing. I feel butterflies near you. So if someone thought that they could manipulate you based on your emotions, they had you twisted. Um, they were trying to make you paranoid. So they were trying to make you freak out and lash out possibly toward your ex. So this could have been a third party that was sent your way. Um, it could have been a third party that was trying to make you paranoid about your ex's new person. But there was some truth to it as well, or they, there could have been some truth. It could have been your ex trying to make you paranoid about someone else. Like, there's some paranoia going on here. And there's a possible twin flame connection here. That's, and someone's looking at your photo. <clears throat> there is a promotion coming for someone here. And, you know, so there is a connection. And the next six to nine months could be significant, okay? But be careful, because someone's out for revenge. And, you know, they may have similar religious beliefs than you. Or someone has similar religious beliefs and they're out for revenge against you. So, you know, this could be like the difference between the light and dark, you know. Like if you're a high priestess, they would be the high priestess in the reverse. So this could be a female. Okay, so if this masculine comes to you and tries, if they come to meet you on your level and they separate from this person, it didn't work out with them. And they want to come towards you. This crazy bitch is going to be out for revenge. And, you know, they're going to try to use your own belief system against you or attack you some sort of way. Someone slept with someone you don't know. <sighs> someone was pissed off. Pissing everyone off is a piece of cake. Someone didn't change. They're still the same. They're frisky, horny. This was a dark witch or warlock and a secret lover. So... You know, their, their relationship, their situation may be ending like your ex. The person they ended up with, this high priestess in the reverse energy, this dark witch warlock, they could be cheating on them. They're horny, not coming home, doing spell work, doing love spells, doing this, that, and the other. And, you know, um, but they're still not going to be happy if this person comes towards you. Okay. Um... But someone was sleeping with someone that another person doesn't know. So it's like, we all got problems in this. Like, the collective's all got, you know, got a, whether it's your story or not. Like, there's a lot going on here. We all have issues, but, you know. For every person in here, it's like they have, like, issues of their own. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And it could also be the King of Wands, <clears throat> who still has secret lovers. However, this situation is someone wants to bury the hatchet because of some money. So maybe it's because you have money coming towards you or someone has money coming towards them. Um, someone buried the hatchet with someone or reconciled with someone, possibly like if there was a split up in this situation here between a married couple, like your ex, whatever. Um, there was a reconciliation. Someone wanted to bury the hatch because of money, but someone was... Watching another person with an eagle eye. So someone or both of them could have been watching you. Someone's been keeping an eye on someone. And someone's going to have to eat their words for reconciling with someone who was just like a gold digger. Someone who was just in it for the money. Somebody did not err on the side of caution. When someone came back and said they missed them and they wanted to work it out, you know, time was of the essence to do something. So, you know, this could have been a breakup, a split up, and someone needed to reconcile before, like, maybe a divorce was final or something like that or before someone filed. Uh, someone is determined to work with you, though, or give you a break, cut you some slack, 
And someone is very jealous and envious of that. So like I said, someone's pissed off about somebody wanting to have this new start, this new beginning with you. And it may come unexpectedly out of nowhere. You know, there was not a silver lining to this. Whatever this person had planned out, it didn't go according to plan. When they flew the coop, silver lining is they flew the coop. They left. Someone is going to get gone. Sunday could be significant. A third party flew the coop, so a third party got, you know, a third party could have bowed out gracefully and they're like, no, I'm good. Or a third party could have gotten left out in the cold with the Gemini here. Yeah, something is as dead as a doornail here. So there's a Gemini here who may be, you know, they have their problems. They have their work cut out for them. This could be that King of Wands energy. Yeah, somebody thought they were creative, though, by dealing with this third party. And it could also be the Queen of Wands, too. So, you know, somebody here is in their player or hoe energy. Someone could be a Capricorn and someone could be a Pisces and someone shady as fuck. And you know what? You reap what you sow. Someone thought they were getting creative with this shit by sent, possibly sending a third party towards someone or just sneaking off and seeing a third party. And they brought themselves under judgment for what they've done. Alright, well that looks like there's that's it for that one. We're going to cut this one off. Alright, person, place, or thing. Oh, the letter O. That always comes out. O could be significant. V, something is over, O-V-E-R, over. I. And vino, wine could be significant, vino could be significant. Maybe someone's a wino. <laughs> Maybe someone likes the wine. Nothing wrong with that. Someone's name could be Vino. There's two N's. Vinny, Vino, Vincent. Any variation of Vin, Vinny. Um, S. Venison, deer meat, deer could be significant. Deer antlers could be significant. Another S. Secret society, visions, minions. I don't know. There's some, there could be something significant about this. A secret society or, you know, um skinhead stuff why k the sky the sky could be significant something with the clouds or an airplane another eye someone could be being watched maybe somebody has a flight to catch i'll do one more and e So I have V, two I's, two N's, O, E, two S's, K, Y. Kentucky could be significant. Virginia could be significant. Oh, my gosh. There's um, New York could be significant. Oklahoma could be significant. Um, yeah, there's all kinds. Um, yeah. There's a lot of this going on all across the world, but there's, there's a few places. All right, I hope this helps. Have a good day.